right, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. This one will be another quick episode unboxing. I gotta get back to some of those reviews for you guys, but just got this in the mail and it's actually been kind of hard for me to find some pictures or anything about it. Uh, so I figured I would make one myself to uh, show anybody else out there that wants to check it out. So let's crack it open and then I will read some of the specs. Ta-da! I guess I could have made that uh, right side up, but there we go. So it is, in case you're unfamiliar, a limited edition by Baron Fig. I have not tried any of their notebooks yet, so I'm actually kind of excited about this guy. I've been waiting for a limited edition to pull the trigger on, and the last one, uh, the community's kind of torn on. I thought it was a cool idea, but a terrible notebook. Uh, you guys can look that up for yourself. But this one came out, and it was pretty awesome, so I nabbed it. Uh, it is the Metamorphosis, which you can see Baron Fig there. Got a the confidant it is dot grid hardcover notebook and uh we'll crack it open that's the back so a couple of the features which you can see here i will review quickly again i have not used this so i can't give uh, my full thoughts opinions or review but just getting it in wanted to show you guys what it looks like because it is a beautiful pink uh slash salmon color so some of the features uh baron fig uh, confidants is that they open flat so when you put them on the table they should theoretically lie flat no problem this one has the dot grid pages uh, they call smart dimensions so it is a little uh less tall and a little wider than conventional measurements could be good or bad depending on what you're looking for in a notebook i guess uh quality lasting paper always a positive uh and something you're writing in right i would hope so uh, and then uh, something else that they do, as they do, uh, as they have done in their smaller notebooks that I use actually, are the perforated pages, which I think is really cool. Uh, some people like this, some people don't. Again, kind of your usage may vary. If you don't like it, just don't tear them out. Uh, and they do buy a book, plant a tree. Kind of cool to see a company that gives back. And of course, you know their styling is really, really nice. If you've seen the videos that I've done before, I did one on their Archer pencil. I'd like to check out their snakes and ladders, but I've heard the graphite is supposed to be the same, so uh, not really worth it to purchase that for me personally. But uh, if anybody wants to send me one, I'd love to check it out. So let's crack it open and see what this looks like. All right. So looks the same, just uh, not shiny anymore. And this is what everybody says is how nice the box or how nice everything fits inside the box. Nice tight tolerances. So there's a little sheet on the inside. Pretty great quote. And then obviously the information about the company on the back. And then the notebook itself. And it is in there pretty, pretty tight. So uh, let's get that over. And beautiful color. Uh, matches the box. And has the blue... Uh, Man, brain's not working. Ribbon, <laughs> page marker, uh, bookmark thingy. Um, really nice blue, that's cool. And as you can see, the dot grid is there. It's similar to some of the other notebooks I've seen from them. It has a really nice light gray color, so it's not obtrusive like some dot grids can be where it kind of overtakes the writing. This looks like it would be great for pen or pencil, uh, and I will put that to the test later. That's not what this video particularly is about. Here's a look on the inside there. So a place to write your name or any information and then uh, the design carried through from the box. Uh, thick cardstock here. And then first page, most likely won't use this because you can see the way it's bound, kind of bound a good half an inch into that page. So you flip that over and then get into the notebook. Uh, lays pretty flat minus this first page, but that's because this cardstock here, but let's say, you know, a little bit into it once you crease it i'm sure it'll be even better but yeah it does a pretty good job as you can see i just pulled out of the box so not not too shabby oh that does great yeah so once you get more towards the center there and i'm like i said i'm sure once you crease that first and last page it'll be a lot easier um and the back page again is that little bit of binding there and you can see here the preparation so you can rip these last 12 pages out. You can see it there too. Pretty cool. And thick cardstock again, beautiful blue. And then the design carried through to the back. Minimal branding, I really appreciate. As you can see, there's nothing on the back spine or front of the notebook. I really like that. And I'm really excited to start using this thing and getting it a, a little grungy. I love that salmon, salmony pink color. 
That's interesting. I wonder what that is. Huh. No, not sure. And I guess uh, a long time ago, Baron Fig, since they started on Kickstarter, I believe, uh, had some issues with the bookmark uh, fraying at the ends. But it looks like, and I've heard from other people in the community that they kind of resolved that. And you can see right there, judge for yourself. Looks pretty good. Again, I haven't used it yet, so time will tell. Uh, if you guys want to see what I think about this after putting it to the use, how it does, how it holds up, what it looks like, how it takes pen and pencil and all kinds of uh, various things, let me know uh, in the comments down below and I'll be happy to do a follow-up after I start putting it through its paces. But I am going to start carrying this around and beating it up and putting Baron Fig to the test. We'll see how they do. I would love, 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 love to check out their larger size. Uh, they just came out with a few new sizes and I was thinking about grabbing one of those too. So let me know what you think. I might grab one of those and uh, do it on the channel or you know, if anybody wants to let me check one out, I'd also appreciate that. But I appreciate you swinging by. I would really appreciate it if you liked, shared, and subscribed so we can grow this channel together. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Take it easy.